Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest, my husband Sean, and we are going to do the Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Challenge. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Number one, who is the most romantic? That is so sad. It is though. But it's so <clears throat> true. Sean does sweet stuff to me all the time and I'm sitting here like, oh, I probably should do something sweet for him. We are getting older, though, so we, our romantic things become less and more of just doing normal things to, you know, like, take out the trash is now a romantic thing. You know, or, <laughs> or, or getting to go eat. <laughs> or changing Weston's pee out of his diaper is so, is, uh, means a lot more to me than giving me a Reese's Cup, you know, something like that. That's just how things change. It's been four years now. But just a side note, he's laying right here on the floor, so you're probably going to hear him jibber-jabbering and all sorts of stuff. Okay. Um... Best at surprises. It kind of goes hand in hand with the most romantic, though. Yeah, because most of the surprises are a little bit romantic. Yeah. But I'm terrible because I can't hold a surprise in. Like, if I have a surprise for him, I have to tell him. I can't wait. But I'm also the same person that gets a really good Christmas gift, and I try to give it to her a month and a half yes. in advance. He like, I'll give it to her in, like, June. Basically, <laughs> my birthday is at the beginning of July. And in the early of June, he's wanting to give me my birthday present. That's pretty true. But Caitlin's more better with the the words, like being romantic and surprising things That's like that. That's true. I'm and I'm more cards. I'm more of a gift person. She's more of a of a twelve page long wrote written in a card. And I'm more like, here's your cool present. I put a lot of thought into with a five word essay in my card. And that's pretty much how we work. Oh. Okay. Who is the best cook? <laughs> Do you even know how to cook? Uh, well... Should we tell them the ramen noodle story? I will tell them the ramen noodle story. Well, you see, when we were living in the apartments, um, when we were going to college, um, I loved ramen noodles. Well, I was just cooking, one, I was trying to cook one day, and I think I was doing two or three things at once, and I put ramen noodles into a plastic bowl, like one of them Dollar Tree, little single dollar plastic bowls, you know, super high quality. And I put the noodles in there, and apparently I forgot to put the water in with it. So, I put it in for 3 minutes and 30 seconds, which is how I like it. And about 2 minutes in, I look in, and I smell this burning nuclear something is just a dyed smell. And I walk in the kitchen, and the whole kitchen's covered in smoke. And I open up the microwave, and I melted the plastic. The whole kitchen smelled like lead. I'm sure we both have cancer. It's really <laughs> say, bad. I wasn't there that day, and we also had a roommate. And we came back, and it was so bad that we had to throw away the microwave and buy another one. It, right. Um, first to say, I love you. Oh, that's wrong one. <laughs> Sean definitely was first. He, see, it's romantic stuff again. He took me to a really pretty golf course and told me that he loved me. It was so, so sweet. I loved it, but yes. It was. We, well, we had a funny thing going, like, we wouldn't say I love you for a long time. We would say, like, I loke you or I loathe you. And it was just really, really corny. Yeah, thinking back to that, was really ridiculous. Excuse me. We're, adult people are trying to have a conversation. Okay. Who farted first? <laughs> no! <laughs> that time you were laying them in the bed and you were laughing and you pooted? You farted before that. Okay. Is it fart noise or is it fart smell? Either way. That was fart noise. <laughs> yeah. I definitely, I I definitely never... think it's Okay, dead. we're going to have this. Fart smell, fart noise. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who All right. is the funniest? <laughs> Maybe it could be a little bit quieter. Okay. Anyway, what were we talking about? Funniest. About funniest. Um, yeah, Sean is definitely the funniest. He is very witty. He pops off things really quickly. And Kayla's I'm, the serious one. Like, we could be in somewhere like traffic, and I'm like making her laugh so hard, but she's trying to be serious. She's like, Hey, be serious. I'm like, Well, I'm trying to be serious. This is, I'm, this is my serious face. And it's so funny because um, if I am funny, it's on accident most of the time. You know what I mean? Like, when I say something, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I say something and I don't mean for it to be funny, oh, Lord, but it is. Yeah, I, 
I agree with that. Caitlin doesn't mean to say funny things, and the things she says funny are generally not that funny. And I'm just had to be there. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, better driver. That's a shoe in. <laughs> Caitlin's hit four or five people of different ethnicities over the last <laughs> few <laughs> last few years. <laughs> Uh, she was no. Give her credit. She was hit in her little gray car by somebody in the back. Um, she was fine, thank goodness. Car was cold. Um, she backed into a. Uh, I don't know how to say this without sounding really. A Saudi crazy. Arabian. A Saudi. Okay, she backed into a Saudi. I about. I about said Saudi. I just thought didn't know what they wanted to do exactly to be called. Um, but she backed into a Saudi Arabian. Basically, what happened is he was backing out of a spot. I was backing out of a spot at. Tennessee Tech, and we just didn't see each other in it. But that's past the point. Yes, she was a better driver. Moving on. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, who is the cleanest? Uh, this is definitely an easy one. Yeah, for sure. Me. Sean is a good picker-upper. Like, he Bounty. will straighten things up, but he doesn't know what cleaning is. Dusting, mopping, Windex, nothing like that. That's not up Sean's alley. I'm more one of the people that if I eat, I'll clean it up myself. I'll do the dishes. You know, I take care of all the outside stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, she is the one that you know never stops cleaning. You know, it could be we're gonna sit down and watch a movie or something like that, and she's the one picking up around the house, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm about to duct tape you to the seat. <laughs> and it's really the way it is. We have a little person at the very back <laughs> back here, just sitting there chilling. If he falls over to the side, this is a sofa, so don't call CPS because they'll call me. Um, but. He's just chilling. As you can see, he's trying to sit up. He doesn't want to sit down or lay down. He wants to stand. But also, I think personal-wise, cleanest, that's still me. Oh, yeah. Caitlin's definitely more the person that bathes on a daily basis. Sean um, bathes, <laughs> but he hates it. I could take two baths a day and I'm right. Right. This is ridiculous. Who takes the longest to get ready? I mean, let's be real. She got to make up to go outside and take a <laughs> selfie for the eclipse. No, let's be real. What, as a man in a woman's relationship, I guarantee 99% of women take on to get ready. Yeah, I would say, well, most men. Because y'all don't have to do your hair, makeup, figure out what you're going to wear for 30 minutes. Before the video, I went like this to make sure my widow's <laughs> peak was going. Yeah. Who is the better dancer? Uh -huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Who's the better burper? <laughs> Who's the better dancer? Who's the better dancer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She looked at mine before she looked at hers. I knew. I'm sure. <laughs> no, I knew. Uh, my version of dancing is a slight foot tap. Uh, maybe. Um, Caitlin is one of the people that just says, we could be in Walmart randomly, and she just has like this seventh grade flashback <laughs> of a cheerleading thing. She's like, go team! At the top of her lungs. <laughs> it's totally embarrassing. She does it. We need. We don't have window tent in the new car. Um, she's one of the people that will just start dancing and singing and moving and a grooving. In the middle of traffic and people are looking, I'm just like, I'm trying to sink farther and farther <laughs> down behind the steering wheel. But yeah, that's what she is. Um, dirtiest mind, I would definitely have to say me. Um, it's, there's just what so many. Weston's got the, the sign, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> Weston's got the sign. Yeah, it's for right, sure. We're going to give it this one. <laughs> we're going to give it that one. <laughs> okay. Thank you. It's definitely <laughs> Um For example, we were eating at Logan's Roadhouse <laughs> recently, <laughs> and you know the nuts that are on the table. Yeah, I know. Your mind just went there. Um, the nuts that are on the table that you can eat. Well, we were eating them, and I just had like a thought in my head about I'm sure that a lot of kids <laughs> probably lick it and put it back into the pot. <laughs> <laughs> I literally said to Sean, I was like, I wonder how many kids have licked on these nuts. Literally yeah. do not mean it in a dirty mind way. <laughs> Sean quit letting him do that. <laughs> oh, my. He just has it out for his mother. Um, but I didn't mean it that way at all. I was being so serious and Sean just died laughing. Well, like, it was mostly because it. the way she says it, because she makes it sound like she's some two, second grader. Imagine how many kids have licked on these nuts. Well, really, she was like, imagine how many kids have licked all over these nuts. And it just, we just and I busted out laughing like 10 seconds later, Caitlin was like, <laughs> and just started laughing. So I definitely have to say I have the more of a dirty mind. Yeah, for sure. Who is the most attractive? No. Is that right? There we go. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it'll show up right. Sorry. Yeah, no, you no. can't have them. You are definitely.
definitely more attractive than me. Look in the video. Look who prepared more. <laughs> no, you're like day to day. Wake up in the morning, you're most attractive. And I might be good. I guess that's why we married each other. Okay. Biggest sweet tooth. <laughs> who has the biggest sweet tooth? This is the lady we can drive five minutes down and we've got to have snacks. I'm not as bad now as I used to be. She's on a new fast track to fit this thing. We run every day, so. But before that, it was open season. Like, that's how I wooed her. I used when to we be were dating. a candy holic, basically. Like, we would have jugs of candy just laying places that she could pick out what she needed. Um, really? Really? You're going to get to see this thing go flying. In about okay, five we got to hurry because he's getting agitated. Okay, who. Um, is the most social media addict. Mm, I'm gonna say, Wait a minute, before you yeah. answer, there's, I think there's two different types of social media. So you have the social media, <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have the social media like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. Or you have people who go on like eBay or just internet in general. Are we considering this like phoneaholic people? They'll say that. Who, who's on their phone the most? <laughs> really? Definitely Sean. I'm a buyer and a seller. Um, that basically, does not sound good. Okay, buyer and seller are all legal things. Um, basically, what I do is I find stuff, I buy it at a certain price, and then I sell it later for more money. And then I use this money to fund my own personal interest. I mean, hers too. Nothing of that is illegal, so don't be calling your local law enforcement agency. Um, uh, completely legal. But um, I definitely am on like YouTube or Facebook, in <laughs> actual Facebook more than he is. He's not interested. Last question. <laughs> Who says I love you more? I say so too. Yeah. But it, to be fair, we both say it a lot. Yeah, I would agree. We both say it a lot, but like I said, in the very beginning, um, I would say I said it more. Now it's, you know, th with with all this little screaming going on, you really can't say too much to each other without, what? What'd you say? The fourth time. Which happens quite a bit. But I think we, we share that a lot. Yeah. We're both really good about saying I love you. We definitely say I love you before we go to bed or before we uh, leave for anything from each other. So. Alright, so obviously someone's getting cranky, so let's end this video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And we will see you all in our next one. Bye.